Well, hello, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. How you doing? Have a seat, my friend. I've been wondering, where have you been? Come on in. Hey, everybody, come on in here and grab your iced tea. Here's my initials. Looks like Mark Lowry A, but that's really Mark Allen Lowry. And I hope you're... Hello, Michelle. Good to see you. Melinda, Curati, Harvey. Hi. Thank y'all for coming in. We're going to have a good time with my guest on this show, but he's my co-host on Dinner Conversations. Would you please welcome, as soon as he gets his seat, Andrew Greer, everybody. Oh, let's have yeah. some applause. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, and we got Angela Marshall. She's in here. Hey, Angela. Let me put that where we can see that better. Hold on. We want to make sure we don't miss anybody. Oh. In so early, I'm surprised. Usually your ego needs a little more time. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> My ego needs time for what? <clears throat> so, more time up at the top before letting me in. Oh, I know. I have to let people get in the room because if they know you're in here, they may not come. So, <laughs> <laughs> but y'all come on in. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe, ring the bell. And if you're on Facebook, uh, make sure you share this with all your friends and you'll be our satellite. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. It's like we're the... We're CBS, and they're all the stations out there that carry the broadcast. See? I don't know if I was go as far as CBS. Okay, NBC. Okay, I'll okay, Fox, that's better. Maybe. <laughs> no, we're not Fox. There's no news on here, except we have a little bit of news. We sure do have some news. Should we say it yet, or should we wait another? Well, minute? I don't you know. know. We could talk about what's behind you because you're sure not doing a great job at staying at home. This doesn't look like I'm social distancing, does it? Well, I guess it does look like you're social distancing, <laughs> but you're not staying at home. But Is see, you got to look. See, I am at home. See, when I pull the green screen down, you'll see my <laughs> unmade bed, so we'll put that back up. Well, I'm so glad all of you are tuned in. We got somebody in, Ohio, in Iowa, Lisa McGovern. Where is she? Right there. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Now, are you really in Houston staying at home? Is that like for real? I'm in Houston. I'm hunkering down. Listen, this COVID evidently is coming back. Did you see the news tonight? It hasn't really left. We may get tired of COVID, but I don't think COVID's tired of us. It's a virus. <laughs> it will do its thing. Yeah. But it's, and here we are. And here you know, we are. my mother, who is 68 or something like that, she said... Uh, she texted me the other day. I said, hey, are you wearing your mask when you go to the grocery store and all that kind of stuff? And she is. She's doing very, very well because she's in the vulnerable population, kind of like you. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> she, you, uh, love to, you love to point that out, don't you? I do, I do. And uh, she said, it's only because I'm hoping to have the last interview with you ever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she said, it is what it is and it will be what it will be, something like that. Isn't that profound? Yeah, and if it kills you, it's going to hurt because you <laughs> suffocate. Stop it. <laughs> well, I mean, why are you laughing? You do. I mean, I figured that's what happens. You get that, and it affects your lungs, and it's got to be painful. I just don't want to suffocate. I don't mind dying. I just don't want to suffocate or really be there when it happens. Don't we all technically suffocate? I guess. I don't know. Let's talk about something happy. This is a dark dinner conversation. I know. Jan Ritter says this is horrible. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Look. She said horrible. Sorry, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mark and Carol. Uh, what's she saying? From Carol, Carol. and from California. Oh, from, oh, there you go. Get that where oh, we can nice. see it above our names. Our names are too high up. Let's pull them down yeah, so we can uh -huh. talk to the people and get their questions where they can read them. Absolutely. Yes. Um, should we play, what should we play first? Should we play the bloopers reel? Well, yeah, Dinner Conversations, we're in our, what, third season now? Third season, that's right. And we have, let's go ahead and tell them this, we've been picked up for fourth season. And who picked us up? We did. We did. <laughs> because we're producing this ourselves. But we're having such a good time. The comments are so great. The conversations have been exactly what I hoped they would be, and the food's and the food's been good. Yeah, the food's been really good. 
all farm to table for all those healthy nuts. Do you know who some of our season four guests are? You were there when we filmed them, but you may not remember. Well, no, no. Candy Christmas. <laughs> Candy Christmas. Uh, the country <laughs> singer. Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels, right. Who's 84 or something, but you remember he was, You'd never I mean, know he's it. so youthful. Yeah, he's still on the road all the mm -hmm. time. Such a great um, guy. We had CeCe Winans, which is one of my favorite uh, artists from oh, growing yes. up. Oh, yes. Sweetheart. She was amazing. I love her. Uh, and then we had your friend, Jonathan. We did some shows from Texas, from Mark's house. Yeah. We had we had Jonathan Martin, or having Jonathan Martin, and Brian Courtney Wilson. So anyway. And Brett Jones, show. didn't we have him on? Yeah, Brett My Jones. pastor. Part of the Jonathan Martin episode. Yeah. Everybody here knows Brett. They, they'll love that. It's true. Yeah, so we're excited. So it's season four, but uh, it's coming, and season four is coming in the beginning of 2021. Not to prepare you too far in advance, but that's what we like to do around but here. But we're hoping 2021 is a lot better than 2020. At least a lot different, right? Yeah. No more pandemics, please. No, that's well, right. here's the blooper reel. All right. I'm excited about our guest today, Lisa Harper. I've known her since a couple of years ago when I was performing at Women of Faith. I oh, met her there. Yeah. <laughs> And she, let's do it again and shut up. Do y'all know we have chickens? We have chickens. No. Where? Well, at, at our house. house. Yeah, in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. They're in, in the backyard. 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 No, they live you, in the Do you have you a, I mean, you eat their offspring? We eat their eggs? We eat their eggs. 21 chickens. Have you rung any chickens next yet? No. No, do we have. No. no. They don't eat them? They're like, no. their hands. They're all they all have names. Do you boys uh, think about them like eating their offspring? Like, I had a friend in school growing up who was like, Became a vegetarian not because she didn't like the taste of meat, because she associated it one day with like. Okay, listen to this. That in my mouth is. Listen to this. That. Just so you know, you gotta get, you gotta get. Uh, uh, we always school people so that we feel. Oh, they don't come to life. They yeah. feel a little bit better. It's not an embryo. It's not. What? Listen to what? Tell me. You the uh, the oh. egg is it's asexual. Egg comes from a hen that is not produced, fertilized, 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 a rooster. No, no rooster. So that's why a lot of people that are even really? uh, like vegetarian or vegan, they, they still eat. It's a it's an animal byproduct. Oh. It is not a living organism. Are you organism. serious? Yes. You have to have a rooster. So, so do they ever rub up on each other? No, they're hens. No, they're hens. I mean, they they're fight. They're all gross. The hens. But all they, no, no roosters. roosters. Don't they get an egg in them? By the no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yes, there is the stupid <laughs> <laughs> No. I didn't but know this. We, I thought there was love, interaction. But we love to educate people on <laughs> chickens. As, as but if you fertilize, we used to eat fertilized eggs. You well, can, you, you can, can get, get them. them that way, yes. What does and that mean? Then? Okay, that, that means, means that there was a rooster, there was a rooster that the involved. egg was fertilized. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but see, um, you see that? You, a lot of people, about Mark, didn't, uh, a lot of people are confused did, about this. But I didn't know that a rooster didn't have to come into play. No, you don't need a rooster to have eggs. You so, need a rooster to have a chicken. You do. Oh, the egg. That's so the chicken. It's called sperm. Have you ever heard of it? Sperm. You know people it works in the way This is turned into a completely oh, different situation oh, here. I, I, I guess if you think Women about having eggs, have eggs, of course. But you're not laying them. No. You know, so. It's just well, yeah. that's a <laughs> Did it? Oh, Yes. Wow, right. okay. <laughs> but hey, a lot of people. I asked the same question. Nick, no, I'm telling Nick, you. Nick, I did not that's, know. I have a speech ready for it because I let people know <laughs> this because. So I'm not eating a chicken. I'm eating just a byproduct it's of the hen. It's a water product it's, of the hen. Now, if we're eating egg. a fertilized egg, I'm eating a chicken. Well, yes. A it, well, an it, un. It's, and I know. Unincubated. It's a long story. Unincubated. Yeah, it hasn't been incubated. But I can't but, believe you don't eat chicken. Eat the chicken. No, we don't eat our chickens. No. We eat chicken, we but do, we don't eat chicken. They're your pets. Yeah. Yeah. We had chicken have a chicken right? Right? <laughs> yeah. chicken It's delicious, by the way. Could, could, could have been one of yours. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, 21. I'm not sure if it was one of those rubbed up. No, those were rubbed up on. Did they go out and get the eggs? Yes, they do. Every morning, turned into a teaching responsibility. Did you do all that? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, we're. So, I don't know if y'all have. Everybody knew that. <laughs> it's amazing the things you can learn in your 30s. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Father, thank you so much for Julie being with us. Is he serious? And Lord, uh, isn't it Julie? Yeah. Why are y'all laughing? She's just... <laughs> what happened? 
Because I get <laughs> names wrong all the time. I thought no, I messed Julie, your name up. You got She's it. Like, she couldn't tell because you fake sprayed so many times. Oh, no, I'm really crazy. I know. I said, is he serious? Yeah. Okay. Right. Here we go. We're going to really talk to him now. Mm -hmm. Well, I love this conversation and I love these two people. So there's one seat left for you. No, one seat left at the, the table. So let's join the conversation. And it's yours. And let's it's yours. Join the so one seat at, left at the table and it's you yours. You want me to do that part? No. Okay. So there's one seat left at the table and it's yours. So let's join the conversation. Well, there you go. So Hilarious. that's all we did that was funny? <laughs> It does seem a little lackluster. Although... You need to get in your microphone. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, let me turn you up. It does bit. seem a, a little lackluster, though the, the egg conversation still blows my mind. Now, I, it sounded a lot like The View. We were talking on top of each other. I couldn't understand. Well, you, you didn't know that you needed a rooster to get a chicken? Well, I thought you always needed a rooster to get an uh, egg. Oh, even to get an egg, I see. Well, so I you thought go. if you were a vegetarian, you would never eat. But what Nick was saying is... Oh, I love this. D Damaris Agosto said he's only in his 30s? Oh, my. <laughs> I love you, Damaris. Damaris, how old she, do you think She I thought am? you were in your 50s, probably. Damaris, how old does he look? Yeah, go ahead, I'm just Damaris. so glad that she said that. <laughs> well, I think it's the coloring in my... Beard. I guess you need so. to dye your beard. You know, people were accusing me... So I got my hair cut, and, and I'm leaving it long on top, and they're accusing me of putting blonde in my hair or something. I have not colored it. It's just naturally beautiful. It's just... <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, so it's all that wisdom. <laughs> right. So, Your wisdom so is coming out your chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen. Okay, someone wants to know, where do you film? Uh, Janet Denise Watkins, where do you film dinner conversations, love the kitchen, and the conversations? Thanks, Janet. Well, we film it at our good friends, David and Shelly Breen's house. Shelly is one of the Point of Grace girls. Her husband's a booking agent in town. They're awesome people. And that's the kitchen we film it in. Although we filmed a couple, uh, we have filmed a couple in Mark's kitchen as well. But that white kitchen, that real pretty one, yeah. is Shelly's. And then Child Live, Child Fund Live Artist Program. Learn something new every day. I wonder what, and they've got the Child Fund logo in there. That, well, that must be Todd's Grove. <laughs> it must be. Well, what, okay. is, what is the, tell us about the artist program. What does that mean? Uh, they're the guys that work with us so that we can bring the shows to you. And in response, you guys are sponsoring children in Guatemala. And what we want this week is 25 of you to sponsor a child. If we can get 25 of you that have maybe not sponsored a child, or if you're like me, uh, I have five. You could always add another one to your Three. To, to your litter. You know? I don't make as much as Mark. And I love the fact that you don't really have to uh, be the, the parent. You know, you can send the money and and you'll still get a star in your crown. That's true. You got that little... You silicone. don't have to birth them. Watch this. <laughs> I have sponsored children for as long as I can remember and I love doing it. I've never had a child and it's the best way for a single person to have a child, you know? Sponsor them. You're not really responsible, but you help, you know? And I like that. I've got five right now I'm sponsoring with Child Fun and I couldn't be happier. I love these kids and I'm glad I can help, but I'm glad they're not really mine. So go to childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations and sponsor your child you don't have to really invest that much into. Can you imagine if you only had to spend $36 a month on the ones you birthed? This is a deal. <laughs> oh my goodness, I started playing something. I started doing the ending. Lord have mercy, y'all. Lord have mercy. I so, am so ignorant. Listen, one of the big reasons we are here tonight is because we've got a special announcement, which we'll play yes. after another little video about uh, us visiting Guatemala. But we do want to get 25 new sponsors by this weekend. So this weekend is July the 4th, Independence Day, and we are offering new freedom to children in Guatemala through the work of Child Fund, which you've been a part of Child Fund and sponsoring children in with Child Fund specifically for years. 
Right. Yeah. yeah. And told your audience is all about that. And there's just, uh, for me, I sponsor three children because I don't make as much money as Mark. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, but for me, it opened up a whole new dimension of giving because I think like in our culture right now, you look around us, what's in the news, what's in the headlines, we're pretty interested. There's a heightened level of interest in considering our neighbors, looking at the needs of our neighbors. What are those? And that's everything from justice to uh, poverty, making things equal and right. And I think one of the brilliant ways to do that in a really sustainable, long-term way that impacts not just this generation of children, but then their own children and grandchildren in developing countries is child sponsorship. So. All right. Well, listen, uh, we, there, Sandy Botch said she can't hear Andrew clearly. So you need to pick up that microphone and hold it to your mouth. Okay. It's not picking you up across the room because we want Sandy to hear you. Isn't that right, Sandy? She said, help. help. And it's, uh, Donna Carr asked, are all the children from Guatemala? Donna, Child Fund uh, works in developing countries all over the world. So no, they are not just in Guatemala. Mark and I visited Guatemala in a dinner conversation. And episode. I nearly died. <laughs> you did not die. Yeah, because they made me walk all the way. You would not believe it. We drove up to a, a path in the road down a mountain, and I had to walk all the way down there. And you go back and watch. Just hit rewind. Go back and watch the video I just showed you where I'm sitting there talking to my cute as a doll little sponsored boy and i am a total wet rag and that was coming down the hill you, a, you should have seen me when i was going up the hill i literally had to take that shirt off that is what he would do for you to bring the message of sponsoring children well. donna to answer your question there are children available to sponsor through our website at childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations all over the world. And you so will change their lives. That's the one true. good thing. I, I just believe in it. You will change their lives. You'll educate them. You'll feed them. You'll clothe them. They hear, they'll hear about Jesus. You can write them, tell mm -hmm. them what's going on, and they're going to write you. Which is cool. Yeah. Well, should we tell them about one of the big things that's happening for those who sponsor a child uh, in season three of Dinner Conversations? This is kind of the big announcement. Yes, this is the announcement, y'all. Is Which we've answer. already announced it, but I bet y'all weren't listening. True. <laughs> dates. So here's the deal. For every person who sponsors a child through our website, childfund.org, right. slash dinner conversations, by July 31st, so you've got another few weeks to do that. But again, we're wanting 25 by this weekend. For everyone who does that, you and a guest, so you plus one, are invited to our first ever inaugural Dinner Conversations Friends and Family Weekend. Yes. Do you know what that is? Do I know? Yes, you know. Yeah, they're all going to come visit is. us. It's a weekend of songs and stories, food and fellowship with Colleen's going to join us. Colleen's My parents coming. are going to join me. Of course, this is all TBA based on health and sickness. And I'll try and to so, get Dina and Bubba to come and maybe my brother and just get the family there. And, and that's right. who knows? And we're going to have a sing along. That's right. And we're going to have some of our favorite artists and speaker friends join in to share some songs and some devos. And you're our guest. So we're going to hang with you that weekend here in Nashville. So in my hometown, uh, well, it's not my hometown. I grew up in Texas, but where I've lived for years and years. So the way to do that, the way to get your invitation, which is exclusive to those who sponsor a child through our website, childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations by July 31st. And here's the dates. Oh, they we are dates. We have the dates. That's the announcement. All right. <laughs> All right, the announcement is it's Friday, June the 4th through Sunday, June the 6th, 2021. Yes, and June the 5th, it lands right on my spiritual birthday. June the 5th, I got born again at a church camp called Beulah Land in Nacogdoches, Texas. <laughs> Have you ever been to Nacogdoches? Yeah, I've been to Nacogdoches. Yeah, June 5th yeah. is always a special day for me. So we can celebrate you by dunking you back in the water. Yeah, rebaptize me. 
<laughs> no, that's really special. That's cool. I yeah, didn't know that is. was on that day. So we'll, that's what we'll do is we'll convene in Nashville. You'll get that invitation. Uh, we wanted to do it plenty in advance. We know that's almost a year away, but with the developments of the uh, COVID situation and travel uh, restrictions, we just didn't want any chance that we would have to move or cancel the weekend. So for all of you that sponsor a child, you can go ahead and put that in in your uh, calendar so that you'll be ready to come to Nashville that weekend. But here's the deal. For everyone who sponsors a child, including you that have already sponsored, for everyone who sponsors by this weekend, which we would like 25 sponsors by this weekend, I've got a couple surprises we sure do. Mm. Uh, well, first of all, everyone that sponsors will get our season two DVD and our songs from the set CD. Oh, I'm not good at this. Um, we'll get that free. That'll be mailed to you with a letter from us no matter what. So no matter if you can come to the weekend or whatever, that'll be there for you. But for everyone who sponsors by this weekend, we're going to do a little drawing. Uh, oh, Lord. Are you ready for Here this, Mark? Here it comes. <laughs> All right. So we'll do a drawing for four people. Now, two of them will get this out-of-print CCM magazine. CCM, which I've been involved with for years. That's how Mark and I met. Uh, they said, do you think Mark would want these magazines? Well, I said, I bet some of you guys would. So Mark signed this, and this is from 1996. It's an out-of-print cover with Mark signed. When right I was – uh Back when I was famous, <laughs> <laughs> that I could get on the cover of a magazine. That was a fun. I was, you know, who I'm supposed to be dressed up like in, in that picture? Who? That bald headed boy in. Uh, oh, Newsboys. Newsboys, News yeah. Yeah, uh, Peter Furler. Yeah, that's who's back in the Newsboys now. Th there, in fact, that they put out three or two or three different covers. It wasn't oh, just one cover, they did that's several. That's from the photo shoot. Oh, yeah. Isn't wow. that awesome, making you bald? Yeah. So here's the deal. So two of you will draw to win those. I've got two of those that CCM gave us. And then two other of you, so four total will draw that sponsor by this weekend. And I'll get those names from Child Fund, so don't worry. We've got the CCM cover much, much later that Mark and I are both on with Mark Schultz. It's hard to see. A, your light is bright, isn't it? It sure is. A lot of reflection. Yeah, that's but nice. You can, you can kind of see that. And we'll, to, we'll have those signed for two of you. So that's – and that's an out of print. Well, they're all out of print after the month they go in print. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, how do they get those again? Okay. So if you sponsor a child, you may have already signed up to sponsor one. Or if you sponsor by this weekend, which is July 4th, so that's easy to remember, at childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations, that link – is in the um, description of this Facebook Live and the YouTube Live, too, I think. Uh, anyway, if you click that, sponsor a child. Again, you can sponsor a child from anywhere in the world, or you can sponsor one from Guatemala, which is where uh, we went. Then I'll draw four names. Mark and I'll draw four names, and we'll get those sent to you, uh, those DCM covers. So, And you'll be invited to the Friends and Family Weekend, which I think is going to be cool. Mark. I do, too. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's just be probably maybe 50 or 60 of us, do you think? Yeah, I think, I mean. So we'll really have, get to spend time with each other. I guess if 1,000 of you sponsor a child, we'll have 2,000 people. Wouldn't that be fun, too? It would be amazing. Sitting uh, six feet apart. No, <laughs> hopefully by then we can I, sit closer. I hope not. I don't know how you and Houston are doing it. Well, I'm hunkering down, and I'm going to start going live again to see how everybody's doing, because that's what I do when I'm home. I get bored and have to go live, because I love singing with everybody, because I can almost hear them in my mind singing harmony. Oh, there's Bella. I forgot to tell y'all, Bella Dean got her teeth cleaned today, and thank God she lived through it, but she lost one of her, one of her, you know, she had those cute little canines down here, and now she just got one. Oh, they took it out? Yeah. It was rotted. Mm. Bella! I got these nasty canines. I went to the dentist with her today. Hey, and listen, I'm, I'm watching uh, the con the comments, and uh, who'd you say was watching from Child Fun? Oh, uh, Todd's, that's probably Todd's Todd, yeah. from Child He's Fun. He's saying, we have kids in the U.S. Someone, I guess, asked him, do you have kids in the U.S. we can sponsor? And he said, they do. That is so cool. I, I didn't know that. I didn't either. I'm so glad so, to hear that. We've heard comments from some of you that said we would love to help children in our own country. And there you go. There's the answer. You can do that through the same link. 
Yeah. So there's that's really children cool. starving here in America too. Yeah. I wonder if I can sign up to be sponsored. Well, you probably could. I don't know why your money's green, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. I guess that's what it is. Um, so do you want to play them? Yeah. That, um, Which one? There's a season two trailer because our season two DVD and songs from the set CD releases in stores July 24th, but you can order it anytime you want to at dinner-conversations.com. So here's the trailer from season two, which is over, but you can get the DVD with all the special bonus content. Hi, I'm Mark Lowry. And I'm Andrew Greer. This is Dinner Conversations. Turning the light on one question at a time. <laughs> oh, Father in heaven. <laughs> Are we ready? I think so. Our season two guests include singer-songwriter Amy Grant, Grammy winner Michael W. Smith with Jenny Owens, and Today Show host Kathy Lee Gifford, American Idol Danny Gokey, and Dr. Caroline Leaf, Olympic gold medalist Scott Hamilton, Thistle Farms founder and pastor Becca Stevens, preacher Will Graham with Billy Graham's daughter Gigi Graham, Singing duo Seth and Nerva with Montel Jordan. And multi-award winning female vocalist Crystal Lewis. What, now why is he here? Uh, we didn't have the alcohol <laughs> tested. This I mean, just got really wrong. weird. This goes straight <laughs> to nowhere. <laughs> no. So join us for season two of Dinner Conversations. Turning the light on one question at a time. That's what happened here. I was looking for someone in their 60s, 70s, 80s. To... <laughs> <laughs> well, you found me. <laughs> we have had fun, haven't we? We have had fun. Uh, okay. I'm seeing all kinds of great questions fly by. Cool. Robin Fry loved my little joke I got in there. Your money's green, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Andrew Doug Koontz says. Okay, y'all. Oh, listen, Joe Rafferty said I just tuned in. He wants to know how much. It's $36 a month, is that right? That's right, to sponsor child, and uh, it is there is no long-term commitment. So if some reason you get in a bind, you can sponsor now, and that child will still be taken care of if you get in a bind. That's just FYI. Yeah. Oh, I love, yeah, see, you're not committed forever. If you can't afford it after a while, you know, someone else will pick up the slack. We're all in this together. Just like with this virus, we're all in it together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just have to keep bringing that up. Yes, I'm going to come. But ain't God good, children? We ought to write a song. Ain't God good, children? He is so good. Um, and you know what? God is good, and he's good all the time. We've said you know, that a lot, but, man, we just got to keep believing it. Yeah, $36 a month, Joe Rafferty. And yep. if, you, if you do sign up, we want you to. Come to our meeting, our little get-together in Nashville, and that's June 4th through... June 6th, June Joe, 6th. here in Nashville. Over the weekend, right? And you'll get an invitation for that, as well as you'll get our Season 2 DVD and CD. And, I, and we can't wait to meet all y'all. We've, we've seen you, you know, through the comments, and now it even puts your pictures... Uh, oh, look at this. This is funny. What? John D. Young said, you guys are reminding me of Jerry Falwell giving giant print Bibles and laser engraved bricks for a donation. That's well, right. we're not right. giving away bricks. We're, right here, John. We're, yeah, we're giving away uh, CCM covers. <laughs> but it's for a good cause. It's to get these kids sponsored. And we want to do that. We yeah, want to get It's our sponsored. way to say it's important to I us. I can't imagine going to bed hungry. Mm -mm. I never have. There's never been a time. I figure you are rich if you can eat anytime you want to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you get to sleep on clean sheets. Mm -hmm. You are rich. Mm -hmm. And that's my standard of richness. I mean, really. Because there's people like that little, those little children I've gone to meet. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. They're homes. There's no air conditioning. It's dirt floors. It's you got to walk a half. And that kid, when I was having a stroke trying to come back up the mountain, the little kid that lives there would just run up and, and looked at me. He's all, not a sweat drop anywhere to be found. <laughs> and he looked at me like I was sick in the head. You know, do, uh, you, yeah. were, you were there, weren't you? I look at you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you always do. 
You know, and you say, Mark, which is so true to remember that God is good all the time. If I went to bed hungry, it would be harder to believe that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I know that doesn't change God if I go to bed hungry, but me being able to help someone not go to bed hungry may give them a leg up into believing that there is someone who cares about them that's bigger. Right. You know? Yes. So. Can maybe. you tell us more about these kids and their conditions? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, just like our kids, uh, the kids are have various things that they're uh, dealing with that could be from certain kind of illnesses to learning uh, disabilities or whatever, or they may just be a kid who uh, needs the opportunity to have a good nutrition and education. But I can tell you what Child Fund provides for every child, and that is the opportunity for an education, which Anyone who has worked in the field of developing countries uh, where there is great poverty knows that education is truly the key to breaking the cycle of poverty that has um, really entrapped certain countries and communities for generations. So the key to unlock that breaking the chains of uh, cyclical poverty is education. So that's a huge priority. But through that, through education is not just book smarts, right? It's about proper hygiene, which keeps us from getting sick or our teeth from falling out. I mean, you know, all kinds of simple things that we take for granted. Um, having access to clean water, uh, to shelter, all those basic needs that are things that we consider basic fundamental needs. And that really, in a wealthy country like America, even in poor communities, most people have access to or provided for in those ways. These children and these families do not. And then I know they also work with the adults as far as teaching them different skills, uh, as far as uh, how to work to earn sustainable resources, right? Because one thing we have, uh, Sarah Groves, I don't know if you know the singer-songwriter Sarah Groves, but she's done a lot of work in developing countries. And she told me, I never thought about this. She said one time to me, she said, Andrew, what we have here in the United States is renewable resources. Meaning I spend $5 on some deli ham and some bread and some cheese to feed my family for today. That $5 for most of us is renewed because we have a job or we have the ability to invest money and that money comes back. In developing countries, renewable resources is very, very difficult um, to come by. And of course, that's what's helped sustain a family for generations. So that's what we are helping do. I mean, it's it's crazy that $36 a month. I'm sorry. I just think that yeah. is nuts. And they take it off your credit card. I don't even, I yeah. mean, it's just there. I don't have to write a check. I, I wouldn't do it if I had to write a check. I just, it's just too much work. <laughs> it's a draft. It's a draft. Just like, yeah. you know. Your other bills. And the so organization, on. Mark wants to know, what is the organization called? It's called Child Fund. Mm -hmm. And if you go to childfund.org slash dinner dash conversations. Just no, slash no, I said dot com. What is it? Childfund.org. So child slash, slash dinner conversations. Dinner conversations. No, no, no. Just, just one slash. word. And it's in the... It's in our post on this Facebook Live, so you can just click the link and, and you'll be right Judy there. Sanders Ford asks, uh, can you give a one-time donation? You sure can, and I'll let Todd answer that. Look for the reply coming up here, Mark. But you can, absolutely. Um, so just to be clear for anyone so there's no questions about that, the invitation to the friends and family is for child sponsorships. But if you're wanting to give a one-time gift to Child Fund, they would more than welcome that, and they will appropriate appropriate that to the place that is most needed. So you can still do that at the same link, if I'm not mistaken. Todd from Child Fund, go ahead and reply to us here in a second to let them know where they can make a one-time donation if they want. And all of you are asking, do I even see this, that I'm from Australia? Let me know. Liz Jolly, I do see you. Liz, but, we see that. And, and see someone else asked me to sing, Mary, did you know? Someone asked me to sing, Make It Real. I'm seeing your comments, I'm, but we're not talking about that tonight, and I'm not yeah. singing tonight. We're You're not going to give us one line, one line? Of, of Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? I got too high, see? That I your baby boy. But we're really, tonight is all about child fund, and yeah. it's about uh, hopefully getting to meet you in Nashville for mm -hmm. our weekend, June 4th through, through, sixth. through the 6th. And we're going to cram a lot into those two days. We are. And, and it's going to be fun. I, I genuinely, I mean, I'm kind of 
not surprised, but we're both really excited about doing it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. fun to put faces with these names I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, go up and down this screen, and there's been a lot of them. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. Here is the answer to the question. You can yeah. give a one-time donation through the same web page as well, which great. would be a great thing to do. Now and you good. love my hair color and style. Thank you. What Bonnie. about mine, Bonnie? What do you What do you think about mine? Does mine turned look- gray. Yours turned loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still got some on the sides. And you're in your thirties. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Child fund is great. You're right, Marsha. It is yep. great. And uh, and so we're excited about this. Now, you can go uh, binge watch mm-hmm. Dinner Conversations right now on Amazon Prime. I think all right. three seasons, correct? One, two, three, all of them. All three are on Amazon Prime right now in case you, if you're just hearing about this tonight and want to binge watch it while you're hunkering down in the pandemic. You can get some encouragement. I mean, because some of these stories, all of the stories that we present, it looks to me like Christ wins uh. in the lives of these people that we're interviewing. It's it, These are good, positive stories, even when they're sad. Russ Taft mm-hmm. talks about his his addiction with alcohol, and he mm-hmm. talks, and it's a horrible journey, but he has come out on the other side, and it's hopefully a, a, it will woo others to to look at their own addictions. Yeah, and to be kind to themselves in the process. Uh, be Russ kind to each up, other. Yeah, yeah. We're all walking a hard road, and kindness goes a long way. You know what I thought was cool, too, the other day, Mark, is as all of these conversations around race and with the, the peaceful protests and all that, which, of course, there's a lot to that conversation. But what I thought was really cool is at dinner conversations we started it to have really difficult conversations that were hard to have and we had already several episodes that have aired over the past couple seasons that were about systemic racism right racism in the church so i that's not tooting our horn it's just to say it is cool that there are resources out there available to you and that we're able to offer some of those for you to have those conversations out loud, you know. And Danae Fox wants to know, how did you get the opportunity to meet the children you are, were funding? And we want you to know you can go meet yours too. It's mm-hmm. the, uh, we flew down to meet ours so we can make the video and show people that, that this is really happening. Yeah. And, and But you can go. You can go and meet your child. Yeah, and Todd can answer that too, Danae. But uh, uh, if... If worse comes to worse, or if you can't find a way, go to our website, dinner-conversations.com, email the uh, contact link. It'll go to one of us. We'll find it, and we can get you connected with someone at Child Fund so that you can find a a vision trip or whatever they call that to go meet your child. And then here's something that doesn't. Hey, Mark, your hair looks great the way it is, but if you decide something different, how about (laughs) dyeing it black but do like blonde frosted tips? Rachel, darling, are you out of your mind? There's nothing worse than an old face with black hair. Didn't you used to dye your hair? Yeah, but I was younger. I went went gray. I like your age. Well, I don't know if I dyed it that old, but I was (laughs) dyeing it, you know. Back in the day when I started getting gray, but then I started thinking, you know what? This face is getting old. Because haven't you seen people from the back, they look young, and then they swing around and it's Methuselah? <laughs> Here well, you go. Here's Here, look what I found. What? Okay, wait, let me pull And they up. wouldn't be so old looking if they just let the gray show up. No, they wouldn't. Um all right, here's, I think you were dyeing your hair here. I think you were pretty old already. I was, uh, let me see. What are you doing with pictures of me? I oh, it. that was, no, I was starting to let it go gray there. That's real color? Yeah, I oh, think, I cool. don't know, who knows. <laughs> but I'm so glad, because you know what, I finally decided, listen, you can only hide it for so long. It's oh, like, I'm just going to go gray, you know that. It's like, you know, what if you're... Uh, what did uh, Eva May Lefebvre say? She said, they asked her how old she was. She's 89. And said, aren't you kind of shy about that? She said, well, it's sort of like being pregnant. It's going to tell on you after a while. 
<laughs> and then there's those people who stop dyeing their hair all of a sudden, and it's like Snow White. But you know what, ladies who are watching, yes, maybe you dye your hair, and that's great. Whatever you want to do is great. But I'm just saying this from a male perspective, one male's perspective. I think when a woman allows her hair to go gray naturally and to begin to silver, I think it's beautiful. Jimmy Yuri says you're beautiful. Have you seen Jimmy Yuri's Facebook Live show? Jimmy, you are talking about me, right? No, I was talking about me, surely. <laughs> but, oh, y'all, you need to tune into Jimmy Yuri. He is so funny and so yeah. talented and can yeah. sing. And he wrote that new song for what's his name? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm looking it up now. Actually. What is his name? Oh, gosh. He's married to that famous girl who's also a country singer. Anyway, it's about uh, I Called Mama. The song is called I, I Called Mama. But uh, And then Sheila Kendrick Kelly wants to know, how can $36 go so far? Yeah. Well, Todd can help answer that or, or direct you some places on the Child Fund website that will actually explain that. But um, they are able to do that through their financial stewardship, which is extremely responsible. Uh, they have a, a small percentage that goes to admin costs, of course, which is employees and which help infrastructure all of it. But the bulk of the money, we're talking more than 80 percent of all the funds that goes uh, to child fund goes straight to the field, straight to the children. So if you compound that, and then again, if you think about how much a one dollar goes, that's your thirty-six American dollars. That goes an enormous way uh, in developing countries where their uh, form of currency just is not worth compared to the American dollar uh, much at all. So it multiplies very, very quickly. That's how I would explain it. And Tim McGraw is the one who sings that. That's it. Everybody's told me i love this because everybody about five or six people start saying tim mcgraw tim mcgraw which jimmy that's incredible that's isn't that something and jimmy is one of the nicest people of course you know he married to sonia isaacs yeah so he married one of the most beautiful people and jimmy did write me a song karen mcbride what was it one about covid that i did uh i can't remember it now i have to go look it up again where'd you do it online is that natural hair mark yes <laughs> this is all natural. Thank God my hair's still holding on. I know. You think by the time I'm your age, my hair will be holding on? Uh-uh. Look it's, at that. Um, it's retreating. Yeah, look at that right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, do we have anything else to show them? Well, maybe before we leave, before we say goodbye, why don't we show them a little bit of the long, since this is about child fund, let's show them that child fund commercial that shows oh, us. Oh, yes. Something. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Dinner Conversations is brought to you by Child Fund, a community development organization that has been envisioning a world where every child is free to live at their fullest potential, no matter where they're from or what challenges they face. And they've been doing this since 1938. Child Fund's mission is to help bring positive and lasting change to communities around the world by removing the barriers that keep children from realizing and reaching their dreams. Worldwide, over 570 million children are living in extreme poverty. For too many families, access to health care is a luxury and opportunities for education and employment are extremely limited forcing parents to often make choices that hinder rather than promote their children's futures. Child Fund's community development programs address these issues so that children around the world don't just have to survive, they can truly thrive. Today, it is the support from sponsors like you that allows Child Fund to focus on the children and build lasting relationships with the communities like the ones we visited in Guatemala. Child Fund strives to help provide communities with critical necessities, including education, clean drinking water, food and nutrition, basic health care and hygiene, and helping children and parents alike know and understand their basic human rights. We believe every one of us have been created unique with value on purpose and in love by God. We have been created in the image of God. The children we met in Guatemala are image bearers of our creator. Think about that. Yeah. And I believe to love God best, we must learn to love our neighbors even better. Our neighbors like these children in Guatemala. 
Child Funders is giving us that unique opportunity, all of us, you guys and us, to serve God by loving these children through sponsoring a child today. Perhaps you already sponsor a child. Would you consider sponsoring another child in Guatemala? Maybe honor one of your children, a new grandchild, a special niece or nephew. These kids are real kids with real dreams, just like the dreams of your kids and grandkids. We know because we met them. Mm -hmm. Kids that want to be doctors and lawyers and teachers and musicians, just like us. Mm -hmm. Your child sponsorship of $36 a month will immediately link you with the child that you can write letters back and forth with, correspond, send pictures of you and your family, even potentially visit one day. It really does take so little to make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Visit childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations. A child is waiting as a small way to say thanks for your mm -hmm. child sponsorship. We will send you an autographed season two DVD and songs from the set CD. Yes, plus a special item made just for you by the communities in Guatemala. And every sponsor and a guest is invited to a Dinner Conversations Friends and Family Weekend in Nashville. Hey now, which includes meal times with Mark and me, private little concerts and chit chats with our friends and a special Sunday morning service that will happen right before you head out of town. And if you sponsor more than one child, you will have the opportunity to be a guest on an actual episode of Dinner Conversations during the Friends and Family Weekend in Nashville. Does it get better than that? No. Does it, Mark? Does it? Stay tuned for exact details. And don't forget to visit childfund.org forward slash dinner conversations to sponsor your child today. And we put the clickable link in the show notes. So all you got to do is scroll down, click the link, and it'll take you right over where you can start your sponsorship today. And then come visit us in Nashville, June 4th through the 6th of 2021. Won't that be fun? Andrew? Yes. Wake up. <laughs> It'll be a blast. And we're trying to get 25 sponsored uh, by this weekend, July the 4th. And we'll draw four winners from all sponsors by this weekend for this loon on this old CCM magazine and these hot stuffs here. I used to have a copy of that, but I don't know what I did with it. It got lost in one of my moves. <laughs> well, y'all, thank you for tuning in. Anything else we want to say, Andrew? Just that we love you guys. It's such an honor. It has been a good ride, a good trip, a good four, well, four seasons now. Almost. We're going They're into the fourth season. And I'm, I'm thankful, Andrew, I just want to say I'm thankful for you because people don't know how much work you put into this. All I do is show up. I mean, literally, I just show up and he tells me what we're, who we're talking to and what we're talking about. And then I just fly from the seat of my britches. But he has got it all organized. I mean, he is so detailed. Thank God for people like Andrew Greer who are actually detailed. You know what some people call that? I don't know. Anal. <laughs> oh, well. Well, then you're anal, and it's a good thing. <laughs> well, uh, we like you flying by the seat of your pants, Mark Lowry. Thank you. Well, I love you all, and I thank you for tuning in, and uh, I will be checking in on you the next few days. Tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central Time, Jimmy Yeary will be live on his Facebook page, Yeary, Y-E-A-R-Y. Do yourself a favor, set an alarm, 5 Central, and then go to his I really believe in the guy. And Andy Andrews, he goes live. We we kind of help support each other. And Andy Andrews sits and tells stories. He is so funny, too. And he's so wise. He's a very wise man. And uh, Child Fun says, thank you guys for everything. You are the best. Thank you. Yeah, we love you we guys. We love Child, Child Fun. All right, y'all. We'll, we'll see you soon. Could you sing them out? Sing them out with something more. Oh, what can we sing? Oh. Um.
Uh, we can't sing together because it, the thing. Because it's the delay. The victory. delay is so. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved. He loved me ere I knew him, and all, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.